clear up the confusion and smoke for anybody that may still be confused as to caffeine's involvement with URL, battle rap, the culture. First, I want to say when JB and Avocado didn't direct Gnome, although it was a shock, let's be honest. What, when was the last time they didn't direct the battle rap event? What was the last time they got to actually be fans of an event? I'm not mad at them taking an event off and actually getting a chance to enjoy the aesthetics of it. And plus, this ensures job security because if caffeine doesn't do with the job to meet our standards as a culture, that means we're just going to look at JB and Avocado like, yeah, we need those guys. So that's further validation for those guys. They're not going anywhere. And they do so much for us already. You know, JB just shot six weeks of a season straight. I am mad at him low managing for one event. <laughs> and then a lot of us, you know, we gave Gnome, if we had to rate it out of 10, we probably gave it like a 6, a 7. So think about their first event they directed. It wasn't that high of a rating. You know, that I'm not worried about none of that. Now, the second part, right, being commercialized. Like, as far as we know, com being commercialized just means you're designing something for financial gain, for profit. And URL's biggest goal with Caffeine necessarily wasn't profit, because Beasley said on 15 Minutes of Fame, if I wanted to make more money, we could have stood the route we were going, but a brand new battle rap fan is probably not going to pay $50 for a pay-per-view, right? And you guys are familiar with the artist Keith Haring, mm -hmm. right? The guy that makes all the fly design shirts. He has a famous quote, if, co if commercializing my art means putting my art on a shirt so a kid can afford a shirt instead of paying $30,000 for a painting, then I'm all for it. And mm. as far as I'm concerned, what Caffeine is doing with this commercialization is just making it to a wider audience, which is what this culture needs. It needs more eyeballs. It needs more fans. It needs more casual fans. It needs more people around the world watching. Uh, I don't necessarily see it as a money thing because if money has to be sacrificed so we can get a bigger audience, more fans, and more people learning about the culture, that's great. Because all of us who are hardcore fans and aficionados, like, there's things that we have to go back and track. Could you imagine if you started brand new from scratch tomorrow? You didn't know anything about battle rap. It's overwhelming the amount of it's overwhelming the amount of information mm -hmm. and battles you have to go back to and storylines you got to catch up with and forget the media outlets is out there. It, it, I can make a list of every media outlet, good, bad, credible or not. There's so many people out there to follow. It's a fact. You know, one thing that I will say and commend Caffeine for is that. No material had to be edited as far as like certain words that were said because there was a couple of words that I heard that there I was, was like, that word I was like, the like, alphabet Ooh. boys going to pull up anytime soon now. But I was like, hey, they let it Ooh. rock. So you I know, had one so friend good that in the clear. Say whatever you want to say. You know, they kept it funky. So I gotta salute them on that. Real quick, and, and last thing, if people are concerned about the quality, keep in mind two things. We're still in a pandemic, so we're not going to have venues for quite some time. And two, I know maybe the qualities of the battles on Caffeine feel mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm not getting my fix. There's been eight live events with Caffeine, and every event in Caffeine has had a choke thus far. So Caffeine, as far as throwing events, CPR is 100%, because there's always a choke <laughs> in one event on a Caffeine stream. So maybe you got to question the battler's quality. Maybe the aesthetics can be fixed a little there bit. There you go. <laughs> there you go. You just had, you had, you, you could not. Couldn't help myself. You could not say CPR. <laughs> but the problem is, I'm not lying. We're we're in an era. We're in an era now where I'm almost have to anticipate a choke every event, as opposed to oh, getting God. clean rapping. No. I mean, but we just gotta realize no, y'all. Right. We gotta do better. No. The two I mean, weeks I hear prep. You, I the two weeks do. prep definitely doesn't help with that you know what i mean and i think we're just at a new standard at a new pace now we're at a pivotal point in battle rap where these guys are trying to turn around content bi-weekly for you every time on the dot and there's going to be some bumps in the road when it comes to that because we got mcs who are used to having a month three months to write for someone now it's like two weeks yo i got somebody for you do you want this check yes you're on you know and we're gonna have some stumbles we're gonna have some chokes here and there but we're going to start seeing a new breed of MC who's going to be able to deliver fire content every two weeks where we didn't think this was possible in the past before. We're